In the heart of the Bible Belt in Nashville, Tennessee, young women are being drawn to a world where there's a love that is unique and different, a love that is eternal. Well, none of us are worthy to be a bride of Christ. I, it's ridiculous in a sense to think, I cannot be a bride of Christ. But He desires that. When I was with Pennsylvania Ballet, I had an injury. And although I was trying to do therapy and heal, I was actually kind of regressing. I remember going into a church and sitting down and opening the Gospels and reading for hours because I, I was spiritually so hungry for God and God alone. In theory, I had everything that our society says should make me happy. My own house, nice car, partner in my own law firm, so name on the letterhead but there was this God-sized hole, and he kept planting an idea in my head and in my heart that I might have a vocation. One of the things that first drew me to the Dominican order was the charism of teaching, the idea that St. Thomas gives us that we are called not only to contemplate God, but also to share with others the fruits of that contemplation. What is really at the heart of the church is the church's mission to go and teach and to evangelize and to teach the truth about God and about who we are and who God has created us to be. They're looking at leaving behind good things, uh, the good and beauty of married life and parenthood, and to see, can I be a spouse to Christ, and yet to say, all right, I'll leave those behind for the greater good of of Christ alone, He becomes my everything. If you think about it, all people are called ultimately to live totally united to Christ, and most people will do so in heaven. We wish to start heaven here on earth, and the vows enable us to do that. Vocation to the religious life is a call to love Christ as our spouse and our neighbor as He loves them. It's magnificent, and He gives us the grace to love, and we have to remain faithful to that grace.